Today's event empowers us all to continue with our work and helps us to find energy and good new ideas, new perspectives, because every time we come together it must be about something else than speeches. It must be about doing things together and finding something new. The objective of the summit has been to remind people about the importance of gender equality and to commit UN member states to their delivered commitments and to new objectives, especially for the 2030 agenda. And if we think about these objectives, in some, I think we have reached good progress and good goals. But let's say that in the status of women, we still have huge challenges globally. And if we think about how different kinds of conflicts and their repercussions touch people, I think you could say that improving the status of women and girls, improving their participation in society, is the key to solving global conflicts and uh, their consequences. And I think that is something we should focus on both in Finland and in globally and globally. Healthcare for girls and women, that is another very important topic and that should be one of our main goals and statistical inf information related to that is, is crucial. Finland is very committed to implementing the Beijing Platform for Action and we delivered, delivered our own progress report to UN Women within the deadline in May 2014. This dra report was drafted together with the government and stakeholders. And the report estimates that Finland has been very successful in, in the harmonization of work and family life, in increasing the participation of women in political decision making, and in increasing the women's share in the labor market. We have a very high level of education for women, and we have been successful in developing mechanisms that are used to uh, increase gender equality. But challenges include violence against women, gender neutrality, minority women, sexist attitudes, and the fact that women's economic situation is worse than men's. When we talk about women and the economy, we often talk about women as objectives of, of the economy. We rarely speak about women as subjects. Have you heard anybody talking about women's startups, uh, the growth of the service sector headed by women and these kinds of themes. I think this is something we should focus on. It's very important to look at the society and its structures, the inequality and equality through these eyes. And we should try to encourage women to be more, more active, to have the courage to develop their ideas, their own companies. And the same applies to the academia. The same applies to commercializing research results, for example, in our society. And I hope that this, this theme can be reflected in our activities in the future. We have to be aware, also in Finland, that we still have a lot of challenges. The financial crisis has posed new challenges for us. These challenges require active measures from us and they demand follow-up as well. We have to monitor state budgeting, state budgets and their consequences for women. And we have to f ensure that we can still make headway instead of the financial crisis and, and make sure that the impact, the negative impact on women is as small as possible. We need instructions and, and guidance on how to proceed here. And I hope we can get that from each other. We have to find a way to move forward and to find the key things that need to be maintained in our society. And when I look at the list that are monitored, there are things that are crucial for the implementation of of gender equality. Subjective right to daycare is one of them. What is its future format? That is crucial. 
and uh, that is now a hot topic for discussion. Parental leave system, its reform is, at least for me personally, very important. The 6 plus 6 plus 6 model and its variations could be one way to go here. Ratifying the Istanbul Convention in August was a huge accomplishment, but we still need more measures to make sure that it's really being implemented. Gender equality need to be taken into account in the care for the elderly, for example. And the gender impact of the pension reform 